Hey y'all, it's been a long, mm. long time since we did any sort of video on the YouTube. Yes, I call it the YouTube. That's how old I am. But Facebook. And the Facebook and the Twitter. And the MySpace. That's, mm -hmm. old. That's really old. The Friendster. We yeah. do it we do it all the time. We've been on the air longer than you people imagine. You might think it's only three years from our feed, but it could be longer. It could be longer. Indeed. Anyway, Tony and I are here with our good friend Sammy from Wicked Wee Brewing. Sammy Princess. Yes. How are you? I'm great. I've been uh, drinking some beer with you guys. Yes. So it's yes. been great. We've been trying some awesome, awesome beers from the Funkatorium up there in Asheville from Wicked Weed, and we just wanted to show you what they look like. And Sammy's going to talk real briefly about the four beers that we tried and what they're like. So go ahead. So going in the order of the episode, um, first is Tropic Most. It's a passion fruit goza. Uh, it's in the market now. If you um, want to see what the label looks like, it's right there. Uh, comes in our 12 ounce bottle format. This is the, um, the personalized etching in the bottle that we were talking about. I don't know if you can get a close up of that or not. Um, but it's really good. Like I said, drink it with, with spicy food. Um, get a little bit of salt, a little bit of tartness, and just enough of the, the light passion fruit uh, to accompany it. Mm -hmm. um, after that, we did Garçon de Firm. Probably the highlight for me of, of, of the episode. C'est très bon. <laughs> Maybe because it was the first time having it, but it's part of our Firm series, and this is... Um, a Brett Farmhouse Ale. It's also blended with our um, our house Golden Sour, and uh, also is um, sits over one and a half pounds of fresh, ripe whole peaches, which that is obviously the key there. So this is how it pours. It's kind of a hazy yellow there, gold golden hues. Um, really well in balance, and drinks like peach juice. Um, next is is Recurrent, which actually just got its label, this beautiful, colorful, vibrant label. Um, just as vibrant as, as the color of the beer, as you can see here, this uh, deep hue uh, red. So this is uh, one pound of, of black currants, it's a red sour ale. Um, probably our most wine-like beer that we brew at Wicked Weed Brewing, so we're really proud of it. And then uh, finally, uh, Marina made its way into the episode, and I'm so glad it but did. I'm so too. glad it did. Uh, it wasn't Marina, really an accident. It was kind of a planned. It was accident. a planned accident. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Tony. So um, again, with the peaches, we have all the peaches. Uh, peaches and apricots, golden sour ale, um, very, very tart, um, and yeah, that's what that's what we tried from from Wicked Weed Brewing today. Pretty much all available right around now. Yep. Yes, so look for them out at local retailers and go to Redacted because Redacted's got the best lineup. Yes, of all. Yeah, so the best one is the Redacted. Yes, yeah. or you can go up to Asheville to Wicked Weed. They've got their uh, restaurant brew pub and the Funkatorium both. Yeah, it's true. And uh, if you're seeing this in time, Asheville Brewery Beer Week starts uh, Friday of this week. So, that'll be, that'll be May 27th, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is associated yeah. with Tales from the Cask, episode 160. If you want to hear the whole thing, it's at talesfromthecast.com. Also available in iTunes and Stitcher. And we hope to see you again very soon.